Thank you. I'd not have survived on my own. Talk, woman. You've dragged me far away from the city. You owe me an explanation. Who were those men? Who have you been hiding from? I... I don't know. Three days like a rat, you said. And you don't know? I knew. I mean, I had my suspicions. So talk. Who's out to kill you? I don't know. There you go again. Truly, I cannot be sure. At first I thought it was revenge for the children, but he knows I'm no traitor. It's not Roach, we both know that. Yes, yes, you're right. Tell me about the Vipers. They... they created this storm. Are they working together? I would say they detest one another, or that's what they wish everyone to believe. The devil only knows. You know what the Count intends? No, but I cannot imagine anyone more different from Baron Kimbolt. Meaning? I would call him a sheep were his heart not black. He's a jester, an especially nasty one, though I cannot identify his master. He may not even have one. What does Baron Kimbolt want? A strong Temeria, and a strong North. He's obsessed. He believes we're surrounded by rebels and traitors. The Lavalettes, the Maravels. He's probably not alone in that belief. But he is alone in believing that he himself is the remedy for that ailment. The Baron sees himself on the Temerian throne. He claimed he would achieve this by marrying Anais. Isn't she a little young for him? He's a disgusting old satyr. He'd be a tyrant were he to don the crown. Seems you got to know the Baron and the Count well. Then there's Roach. Pretty interesting social life, I'd say. Being a courtier, that was no life for me. I thought it terribly dull and found a remedy. Searching for excitement shouldn't get you killed. It's the last time I do anything of the sort. You can't be sure of that. Is Vernon the only person you do favors for? I've never betrayed Temeria, if that's what you ask. What happened to the convoy carrying Anais and Busi? What about the children? We were ambushed. The caravan was destroyed. I need details. We were traveling along the agreed path, with a limited escort so as not to draw attention. The children were in two separate wagons, a safety measure, I was told. Which one were you in? I was with Anais. One day a messenger appeared with orders for the caravan's commander. A change of plans. We turned north to travel a longer route for safety's sake. Soon after the turn-off, we were attacked. The attackers were killing everyone indiscriminately. One pulled me from the wagon, but a bolt pierced his neck. It was mayhem. I ran for the bushes and hid. Did you see what happened to the children? The driver of Busi's wagon was shot. The horses got spooked and ran off into the forest, taking the wagon with them. When the fighting was done, they found Anais still in her wagon. I turned away for fear of what they might do, but they merely grabbed her and fled. Any idea what happened to the caravan commander's orders? I have them. After they took Anais, the bastards were in a hurry. They didn't even think to search the corpses. Take them. Thanks. Sure you can manage that boat? I must. I'll not return to the city. Thank you again, Witcher. And follow this through. You'll do us all a favor.
Geralt the Rivian! <laughs> Blessed be the eternal fire! In its radiance we... I remember you from Vizima. From Vizima.
evil eye! There's a traitor among the Temerians. Careful, Witcher. You'd better have evidence if you plan to accuse someone of treason. Busi and Anais. Yes? I believe there's been a misunderstanding, my lord. Get out, before I call my guards. And what might I convey? Nothing. Baron, sir, you gave your word. For the last time, out! Tend to this matter. Who was that thug I passed in the doorway? He's of no concern to you. People like him sometimes do stupid things. Did I ask for your opinion on the matter? The convoy carrying Anais and Busi was ambushed. Why? I'd like to know that myself. I've seen your letter to Horst Lubbock, the one in which you ordered him to abandon the planned route. Nonsense! I sent no such letter. The letter bears your seal and signature, Baron. Where is it? <laughs> 